The Culture Secretary has announced that the BBC's licence fee will be scrapped by 2027. Nadine Dorries also said that funding will be frozen for the next two years. The government seemed to think that the BBC has been biased against them and want to push it further to the right, when in reality it has become incredibly right-wing over the years. Just consider there's a revolving door between the BBC and the government. Many government advisors are working for the Conservative Party, vice versa. Think about the Jeremy Corbyn smears in the 2019 general election. That general election coverage was the worst I've ever seen. Remember when the audience laughed at Boris Johnson on Question Time? Then a later broadcast was edited without the laughter. What about Laura Coons claiming the Labour activist punched a Tory? That was completely untrue. What about her talking about the postal votes before the results had been announced? Then we had her recently on the BBC talking about Rishi Sunak spending. Uh, the economics she was talking about was redundant and has been widely discredited. This is that and some. Okay, this is the credit card, the national mortgage, everything absolutely maxed out. So the licence fee, it's going to be scrapped. Here's why it's a bad thing. Even though I do support the fee being scrapped, the Tories, however, have an agenda. So first of all, the BBC are going to have to renegotiate a new funding model. This gives the current government a way to exert even more influenced by way of how it is funded. It's likely, almost certainly, this is gonna be a path towards privatization. Even though there's already been enough spending cuts, a new funding model that's negotiated by the Tories means cuts will be severe. This will affect the quality of journalism and entertainment. And by the way, the entertainment, the BBC is actually quite good at. According to the Mail on Sunday, an ally of Dorries said that the days of state-run TV are over, praising the growth of US-run companies such as Netflix and YouTube. Now, I don't know about you, but that doesn't sound good. The problem with the media, and especially the US, is that it's way too commercialized. If the BBC's funding relies completely on private interests, then it will affect the integrity of journalism. Admittedly, there's not that much left of it. So this puts the left in a really strange position. Do we defend the BBC after its genuinely appalling coverage of politics, of policies, of elections and Jeremy Corbyn? For us, I think we need a new publicly funded model. The licence fee is a problem. It's a, a problem for those on lower incomes. It's an extra burden and with less and less people watching and opting for streaming services, the fee is becoming more and more unpopular. So as I said, over the years, opinion has shifted against the BBC, its rightward drift is doing itself no favours. There's an argument to reform and reclaim the BBC. We should be looking at ways to democratise it, uh, put in much more effort into working class voices, especially of minority groups. Despite its decline, it's still the most trusted when it comes to politics and the most watched when it comes to elections. The BBC still holds the biggest market share and exerts the most influence over political opinion. Allowing it to fall to cuts, uh, privatisation, will only push the BBC further to the right. What do you think? Is this a good idea? Should we defend the BBC as an institution? Can it be saved under the left? Leave a comment and let us know what you think. Thanks for watching.